Christmas crafting. We've been on hiatus for a while because we were in the middle of a move, but now we have room on our table. Um, I do apologize in all of our videos. You will probably hear babies talking and screaming because my son is 11 months old now and doesn't sleep all day. So, back to the point. For our first crafting video, we're going to be doing a small little library. Um, so what we did is we took a box and we turned it on its side. We cut the top off. I haven't removed the actual top yet because I was using it when I moved. Um, and we're taking one of the sides of the lips and we're going to be gluing it right in the middle here to even it out. And then we are going to finish putting the paper along all of the edges. So we realize we forgot a step, but we'll do that now. So now that we have all of the edges covered in the white paper, we're going to be taking a doll, pardon for the nakedness, she's the closest doll I had, and we're going to be placing them against the box. Actually, we do this on the outside. I'm going to be placing her on the outside of the box, and we're going to measure a line above her head, and then we're going to take a ruler and we're going to do the same down the edges with a size big enough for a door. And we're going to be doing the same here for a window. And then once we're done, um, all the edges of the door and the window are also going to get papered, just like the edges of the box. So now that we have the door and the window done, with the cutout and the paper, we're going to be taking our plastic. We're using one from our Ever After High doll box because it's the only one I can find. And we're going to be taking our cardboard that we used from the cutouts and we're going to set them on the plastic and we're going to just either, you can lay them down and use an X-Acto knife around the edges or you can draw it, but make sure you leave space, um, a cutout bigger than the cardboard because you're going to be using it to glue onto the door and the window. So, now that we have our plastic on our window and our door, and we've got everything done, we're going to be taking our scrap paper, and we're going to be gluing it with craft bond onto the edges of the box. We're also going to be doing the inside walls and the floor as well. Now that we have the flooring and the wallpapering done, what we're doing is we're cutting out our frames for our door and our windows. Um, the inside of the door is going to be a little bit shorter than the outside just because we have the floor that interferes with the length. So you're going to want to cut the outside frames bigger than the smaller ones. And what we did is we took our ruler and I'm not sure if you can really see the pink. We took a highlighter on on our um, ruler and what we did is we measured from the bottom up to the edge of the door like so and then we decided exactly how wide we wanted our frames to be and then we marked from the door the top of the door to how wide we wanted it and we just marked them all with highlighters and then we traced and cut it out on our cereal box. So now that we have our frames up on our door and window, we're going to be moving on to the bookshelves. And what we're doing is we're taking one of our books and we're measuring to see how long they are. And these are just under an inch. So we know how long we're going to make our, or how wide, sorry, we're going to be making our bookshelves. So, because it's to this line, we're going to be making our bookshelf the width of one inch. So we're going to take our paperboard, we're going to measure how tall they need to be, and with ours, we're going to leave a little, a little shelf on the top up here, so we can put a sign of what books are there. So we're going to take our ruler, we're going to measure how high it needs to be. And with this we're probably going to do about 10 and a half inches because of our box height. So we'll do 10 and a half inches tall by 1 inch wide. 
And once we get our first piece cut out, we're going to, instead of using our ruler now, we're going to take it and put it on our board and we're going to just trace it and cut it out. And for each bookshelf, um, even including the shelves when we get to those, we will be using two and gluing them together for sturdiness or you can do three. I decided to make the edges um, with three layers of our paperboard rather than two because it wasn't as sturdy. And we have two more that we have to glue together and then we'll be done with those. And now what we did is we took our ruler and we kept our bookshelves the same width as the ruler or our shelves. And we just decided to make the shelving three inches long. We tried two and a half but it was too small so we did three inches. You can make it longer. If with everything all cut out and ready to go, we are going to be taking our craft bond and we're going to be gluing all of our paperboard together. So. With the edges of the bookshelf, we'll be doing three. And just the shelves themselves, because they're not so long, we're only doing two. So we're With everything cut, sanded, and glued, we're now going to be taking our wood. Sorry, our wood print right here. And we're going to be cutting it out and wrapping these from front to back. And we're going to make sure to overlap a little bit. With everything covered in wood, what we did is we're taking our side pieces here and every two and a half inches we added, we marked a line and once we had all the lines done we would put a line of glue across, of hot glue, and put our shelves on there. And then for the first step what we do is we do our corner shelves first, we stick them to our side here and glue it all into place and after that we continue to do the same and we glue our shelves in right on the edges here and then the siding after that. Now that we have our bookshelves glued in, what we did is we took our ruler and we laid it across the top of our bookshelf and right at the very edge of the bookshelf here we marked in pencil on our ruler to get the measurement and then once we cut that out, wrapped it and only partially glued it. We glued it here to the top parts and not here yet. So once we did that, we took our ruler onto the other side and did the same thing. Marked it at the very edge on our ruler and cut it out and wrapped it. And now that it's wrapped and cut out, what we're going to be doing is taking it and putting it across here and taking our ruler to flatten it out and make it even to figure out exactly where both of our bookshelves need to go and then we will glue them into place. With our bookshelves finished, we added our books, some of our mangas, they don't have pages in them right now because we ran out of um, ink, but we put them on the shelves so we could finish our video. And then we added a picture from one of our other videos to how to create your own painting. And now you just add some little features like the puppy above the dog section. We've got our magazine racks and since we didn't have anything to fill shelves we're putting our magazines there. So I'm just going to put our magazine racks up here. And we'll add a stool from our bar stool video. Our counter and our register from our checkout counter and register video. And then you can take one of these cute little bags and place it there for gifts. And there you have it. You've got your bookstore. Hi, welcome to Quatopia's Books. Oh, hey. Um, I am new to Monster High. I need to get all the curriculum books. They're right over there. Right side of the bookshelf, there's a whole lot of them. Thanks. <laughs> oh, holy cow. There's a lot of books here. Better get them all. Okay, let's see. I think I got everything. Um, is this it? Uh-huh. 
Oh, you missed the math science one. Wow. Crud. Okay, I'll just do a little at a time. Thanks. So, these are all I need, right? Yep, that's all. Oh, wait, I forgot. Ever After High and uh, Monster High kind of merge, so you're going to need all the books. Ay vey. And how many is that? All those over there. Oh. I'm going to need a dump truck to get these home. Well, got to go get my books for school. Thanks for watching Yuko's Crafting. Tanoshimu! Sayonara! Before we go, we wanted to make sure that we announced our winner for our contest. And the winner is... Bum -ba -da -dun -dun -dun. Jen Martin. Please contact us for information about your prize. Thanks for watching.